an essay on bioinformatics. Bioinformatics is a synergistic study of both biotechnology and information technology. In biotechnology, living organisms of micro level and macro level organizations are employed and manipulated towards harvesting beneficial products to human. In recent years, biotechnology is turning into an industrial science through genetic engineering. Genetic engineering helps the scientist to incorporate a single gene into an organism and synthesize a desirable product without affecting other genes and their functions. In this way, the biological systems or the microbial systems are manipulated. Bioinformatics deals with the creation and maintenance of databases of biological information such as the nucleic acid gene sequences and protein sequences. It has its own applications in gene therapy, diagnostics, drug designing, crop improvement, biochemical processes, etc. History of Bioinformatics From the beginning of the post-Mendelian period, genetic principles propounded by various geneticists have revealed the functional behavior of discrete hereditary particles called the genes in the expression of various morphological and biochemical traits of organisms. During the last three decades, the advancement in molecular biology, the invention of computers, ultra developments in scientific methodologies and introduction of instrumentation at nano level have paved the way for the origin of bioinformatics. The preliminary discoveries such as the amino acid sequence of bovine insulin, nucleic acid sequence of yeast alanine, tRNA with 77 bases, X-ray crystallographic structure of protein formed the basis and original databases for data entries and file making. Uses of Bioinformatics It helps us to understand gene structure and protein synthesis. It helps to know more about the diseases. It helps to understand more about the fundamental biology and the thread of life, the DNA. It paves the way for the medical and bioengineering applications. It helps to apply the biophysical and biotechnological principles to biological studies. In turn, it will help to design new drugs and new chemical compounds to be used in health and environmental management respectively. Write an essay on protein structure and protein model and its uses. Protein are linear chain molecules made up of units called amino acids. Approximately 20 different amino acids make up a protein chain. They are called polypeptide chains as they often contain a few to several hundred amino acids linked with each other by peptide bonds. Several peptide chains form Subunits of a large protein, for example, the hemoglobin consists of four subunits, each harboring heme and ion containing molecule. The peptide bond between amino acids is fairly flexible. As a result, oligopeptide and polypeptide chains fold to a convoluted shape. Every protein folds in a particular way to form a distinctive configuration for its specific function. The protein configuration is made primarily by the amino acid side chains. Some amino acid side chains are electrically charged. Others called polar molecules are neutral and strongly attract the electrons. A third group of amino acids are said to have non-polar or hydrophobic side chains. Thus, Proteins fold up in such a way that non-polar hydrophobic groups remain buried inside the molecule and the polar and charged groups remain outside. The sequential and linear arrangement of amino acids in a polypeptide represents its primary structure. The folding of protein chain to form recognizable modules such as alpha helix and beta sheets represents its secondary structure. The three-dimensional shape of the polypeptide is called its tertiary structure. Alpha helicals and beta sheets provide further stability to protein structure. The proteins synthesized inside a cell undergo a above-mentioned configurational changes to attain stable structure. Otherwise, they will be digested or destroyed by the cellular proteolytic enzymes. The proteins take up different profiles as structural and functional proteins 
such as enzymes and hormones etc in proteomics the amino acid sequences are read by automated sequenators and stored in computers as internationally available databases the information regarding three dimensional structure of protein is stored in another computerized database called protein data bank only three dimensional forms are used to define protein structure protein model in proteomics a delineate information about a protein at atomic and molecular levels models are constructed x-ray crystallography can give a skeleton model of a protein from its results on its atomic details with atomic data computers nowadays generate graphic images of the molecules on high resolution screen Computer modeling of protein began as early as 1970. The computer generated models depict not only the properties of amino acids in a protein but also help to understand the protein function. One of the computer graphic models is the glowing coal model. Uses Protein structure helps in understanding biomolecular arrangement in tissue or cellular architecture. protein structures protein models and computer aided graphic models helps us to understand biological reactions mediated by enzymes graphic models provided by computers are valuable to predict which fragments of a medically important protein can be used to design drugs and vaccines proteomics also helps in chemical industries to manufacture drugs various chemical compounds and enzymes Please subscribe our channel for more videos and educational contents.